away from you both to bring you huge breaking news that Eric Ten Hag has been announced as the new first team manager of uh, Manchester United. United. Yes, you've heard that bang on correctly. Eric Ten Hag is the Manchester United brand new manager for next season. Thank you for Sky Sports for giving that quick little thing. And let's get into this video. Smash that like, subscribe. Let's start talking about Mr. Eric Ten Hag. Now, in this video, like, he has been, he's now announced as United. I'm not going to talk for long because I'm going to get Goldbridge's opinion and other big content creators of my internet to get and do it as well. Like, uh, and view, like, stand all sorts of them. But privileged to have Ten Hag in the, in the club. As uh, I said in the last video, he was 99% sure that he was going to be in. He's now confirmed in as the manager. Privileged to have him. He will hopefully bring a new dynamic to the club. New, new technique. I thought I'm going to start losing 2-1 to Arsenal. So if that's something, that's the first thing to improve the team. And I'm going to go for my, my ideal lineup with Mr. Eric Ten Hag in the team. Well, as manager. So, I'm going to say it will be, in goal, it will be a 4-3-3 in goal, we'll have David, David De Gea. This season, he has been amazing, he's been, he's proven himself as the manager of the club. Honestly, he's fantastic. Like, he said this on many, many occasions, our player of the season, and Ronaldo so far, our player of the year. Our, him and Ronaldo are both our player of the seasons, has to be. Like, him and Ronaldo are up there. Right back, I'm gonna go with Diego Gallo. He's proven himself this year, but it could be Ramsaka. It could be someone like Masari. I mean, Masari's good, good, but he's like not. He's young, but he's not quite a Diego Gallo. Like, Gallo's still young, and he has proven himself to be up there. Like this season under Ranić, well, mostly on, on, under Ranić and Solskjaer, he's played. He, he's played, been playing superbly, and. Well, uh, now we're going to, now we're going to the other left back position in, I'm going to go Luke Shaw or Alex Taylor, like one of those two will probably be in. I'm, I'm going to say no, I'm going to lean towards Luke Shaw because Luke Shaw's just been, honestly, he's been fantastic for the club. He's Luke Shaw for a reason. I'm going to call up Euros for definite for, for him. Well, World Cup for him for definite has to go in this done 11 under Ten Hag. I mean, you could put that in there, so you could, but you could, you could honestly rotate with both of them, like, you could rotate two of them, and honestly, like, be good, but now the two centre halves, we will go, maybe the left centre back or the right centre back, we can play on either side, Raphael Varane, yeah, you've had it right, Raphael Varane is in our club now, he hasn't proven himself this season to be a good defender, because he has been injured most of it, he has just come back from, a knock and a slight bad injury, but honestly, one of the world's best defenders because he hasn't put himself yet because he, he has had Maguire and Indelov and everybody else on his tail before. So, yeah, and alongside him, we will go with hopefully Yernuk Timber for my axe. All Konate, or anyone of that calibre, but if I'm going to lean to one, I'm going to lean towards younger Timber. Young Ajax Prospect. Young Ajax Prospect has come with Fubi Academy, where Ten Hag has been for the last couple of seasons now. And that is, um, and that is my two diff I can't change much about Yannick Timber, because I haven't watched... A Dutch football. But now moving to the midfield three. Pogba is leaving the club, as we know, hopefully. So in that CDM position, I'm going to go for Anlama to the mini. I don't know how, I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly or wrong. I am very sorry if I am spelling that, if I am pronouncing that really wrong. There'll be like graphics at the bottom anyway, so you can tell. You, you know how I'm going to pet it, because I'll, I'll put it at the bottom as well. Alright, um, second half just, just kicked off, by the way. <laughs> I can't watch it because I'm BT Sport. And now, a lot, now we're at midfield two. 
We'll go with the one only Mr. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes because um he being sold. He's and he's only down until twenty twenty I mean twenty twenty five and all that men, men, mental. And alongside him I would like to, I would like to see is maybe a bit of a curveball, but Donny Banda Bake. Honestly, he I was under Ten Hag, he played amazingly at Ajax. He came from Ajax where Ten Hag was Ten Hag now coming to Manchester United Bake. Honestly, he I was under Ten Hag, he played amazingly at Ajax. He came from Ajax where Ten Hag was Ten Hag now coming to Manchester United. So yeah, that will that will that's the midfield three. Bruno's that's do we do we really need to do we need do we really need need to go into detail about Bruno and Donny? No. Too many's decent as well. But yeah, mid, now move to the front three. We'll start with left wing Jaden Sancho. Amazing player. Fantastic to see him back in England. Hopefully this season, next season he can do that one step further. Yep, he's a bit, he's, he, honestly he can play on either side if needed to. He can play left, he can play right, he can play through the middle if needed to. He can play near record up front three really. And now I'll leave the striker to last because it's a big one. The white winger. We will go with Anthony. Yes, that is right, Anthony. Um, for that as well, he's a Brazilian guy, young as well. That's because he's young so far. <laughs> and he won it, spins play after Ronald De Gea <laughs> and Bruno. And it's like, I, uh, 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 I haven't mentioned yet, but I probably will be mentioning pretty darn soon. Yeah, Anthony's quite good left footed, compared by sides as well, like Sanchez over, you could see them switching game. And the striker, only one man can take us to that next step. He's got a goal against Arsenal, hopefully he gets a bit more goals against Arsenal. Well, that is a no. We just lost 3-1 to Arsenal. Yippee! Back to the video. When I need to score more goals against that other team, but I couldn't do that. It is, coming. It is Cristiano Ronaldo. This season he's been superb. He saved us on many, many, many occasions this season. And that is my preferred 11. I move over to the special guests in Mark Goldbridge and the other lot. It's official, we've won. Eric Tan Hag is Manchester United manager. I don't think there was going to be any doubts about it. Not for the last couple of weeks, but he is Manchester United manager. We knew it was going to be imminent. It is imminent. It has now been delivered. Signed, sealed and delivered. Eric Ten Hag is Manchester United manager. Woo! It does, feel, you know, it does feel more of a release than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. No, but it does because I think it's a victory for the fans. And I don't think we can ever really feel like that. Because I don't think we actually ever feel that we matter. But I do genuinely want to say... Fair play to the club for appointing him. I think it was absolutely nailed on for a long, long time that it was going to be Pochettino. I think Woodward wanted Pochettino. Players wanted Pochettino. Media wanted Pochettino. Players, current players wanted Pochettino. And yet here we are, officially, no fear, saying that Eric Ten Hag is the manager of Manchester United. And I do think there has to be a part of you that says, well done to Manchester United Football Club. Because those words feel weird. It's almost like my, my mouth can't form those words. Well done, Manchester United board. How does that work? But it... And that will bring this Eric Ten Hag special to an end. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. And I will leave this links to all the link people in the description as well. And I'll see you all in the next Premier League prediction video with a special guest. Until then, have a good day. And let's welcome, and let's give a warm welcome, a warm Manchester welcome to Eric Ten Hag. See you later. Peace.